Like Billy is too strong. Cause they get the yelling out all security on Billy. All it, it took like six of them to hold her. Like, baby, she hulk. Leave the humans alone. Like, oh my soul. Like, leave the humans alone, G. Like, leave the humans alone, Billy. Stop fighting these human women. You know what you need to do. Go fight some mutants or something. Uh, let's be clear. I ain't never took a loss. Every time I go shopping, I ain't got to check the cost. Still independent. Still my own boss. Still got bad bitches coming up they draws. Keep the beat up like a motherfucking Frito. Luchi flame hot like a motherfucking Cheeto. This is not an act. I am not Don Cheeto. Slut a nigga out. Treat him like a free coat. Yeah, you heard right. I'm a whole ass gangster. Made him eat my butt. I ain't even say thank ya. Thugs gon' fuck. No, nigga, I'm a prankster. I can make a thug nigga feel like a wankster. Pull up down my green like she go. What's up, Luchi gang? It's your girl, Luchi V. And welcome back to my channel i'm back with another video and as you can tell from the title i'm going to be recapping now that's tv greek life episode tree i don't know why i said it like that. i just want all oh, tree y'all i wanted to say it like that but before i get into the recap you guys make sure you like comment subscribe hit that notification bell ding 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 da ding 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 da -da -ding -ding. Okay, okay now before it. I start the recap, you guys know I told you guys I will continue opening my birthday presents that you guys have sent me on camera. So I have one, two, three, four that I'm going to open right now. Okay, I got to open them on camera because I want to thank you guys and show you guys love. I'm still going to call you if you put your number in there, but I still want to just come on here. And give you your tens, give you your flowers and say how grateful I am that you guys send me these birthday presents. My birthday is July 8th. If you would like to send me a present, please click the link in my description. You don't need to put in an address or anything like that. You just pick something off my wish list and it'll come right to me. You can put your phone number in the notes and I will give you a call. Or if you just want me to shout out your social media or whatever, if you just want me to say your name, whatever the case may be, just put it in the notes okay so i'm gonna open the first gift here happy birthday thank you for providing such funny content that made me laugh countless times while i'm cooking working etc also if someone oh if someone eats my butt now i won't be saying thank you <laughs> that is so funny from abe and you put your number 313 that's detroit okay you right around the corner thank you abe i can't wait to call you abe because you sound like you funny now, what is this in here? This is kind of heavy. Ooh, it is a chain belt. I don't know if y'all can see it, but it has like little stars. And it's like one of them little waist chain belts, but it has stars all around it. Yes, Abe. Thank you so much. I'm definitely wearing that this weekend when I go out for my birthday, Abe. <laughs> yeah, need the little chain belt, baby. Yeah, thank you, Abe. Thank you so much. Abe, you are hilarious though. Talking about someone, somebody eat your butt now. You ain't gonna say thank you. Y'all are so funny. Okay, let's see. What is this here? My number is. Blah, blah, I ain't gonna say the number. From Prince G. Thank you, Prince G. This is another chain belt that I wanted. It has like the three layer of different chains. All my chain belts that I currently have are golds, but I got these new silver heels that are chef's kiss so yes that's why i wanted to get some silver chain belts so thank you prince g i can't wait to call you and talk to you what is this this feels this feels crazy what is this hold hey. on i don't know who sent this it doesn't say a name or anything if you sent this please let me know so i could call you or shout you out but it's a jewelry set. It's a cute little jewelry set. Now, if you do not know me, you guys, I like to wear cute little jewelry from Amazon and stuff when I'm going out a lot because, like, this right here, this is a real necklace, but I only really wear this sometimes because, y'all, I'm not going to lie, I get a little intoxicated and I lose stuff, y'all. Like, I have lost a lot of expensive jewelry just being intoxicated tweaking so now i only really like to wear my real jewelry on special occasions or i will wear it when i'm in the house just filming with y'all but if i'm just going out i'm cool with having some cute little jewelry from amazon baby okay while they was talking about uh smiley had the amazon chain or whatever or mariah had the amazon chain whoever had the amazon chain baby me too me too <laughs> 
Because, baby, I will lose everything. Like, okay. Enjoy your gift, mama. Bay Area Rep Scott. Okay, so this is a crystal ball. And it's a talking crystal ball. And I'm going to start using this in my videos. So, Scott saw me in my last recap. If you guys remember, I was like, let me look in my crystal ball. And I made like a little joke. And Scott was like, it'll be funny if you start incorporating a crystal ball in your videos. So, add one to your wish list and I'm going to buy it right now. So, I did. And he bought it. So, thank you so much, Scott. Yeah, I'm going to be using this right in my next baddies recap. Because I... Do I, what I got to do? Do I need some batteries? We gonna, I'm going to figure this out. But thank you, everyone. Like I said before, if you would like to give me a birthday gift, the link is in my description to my wish list. Y'all will be... Wait, well, you got a ring and earrings, a bracelet, a necklace. Yeah. Whoever sent me this, let me know so I can say thank you because I really, really love this. Okay, so now we can hop into the recap for Greek Life Episode 3. Now, I know I did not recap Episode 2, but I was gone all last week. I was gone from Monday through Saturday. And even though I did pack a ring light with me just in case I wanted to... Wait, hold on. Okay, I had to adjust the camera. Even though I did pack a ring light with me just in case I wanted to film some content, when I finally watched the episode, it was really dry. It wasn't much I wanted to talk about. Like, I really feel like for the first two episodes, they spent a lot of time on the cast arriving and them just talking about nothing. Like, it, it, it wasn't really much. Um, you know, we saw the continuation of Queen D and Shaba, which wasn't much. It, it uh, Yeah, so let's just go on to episode three so episode three they're all like at the little i don't know they look like they're in a forest or something getting ready for the challenges and mac and liddy were just playing around and you know mac got a little messy like yeah liddy be quiet because pressure over there and pressure was just like yeah so what's up liddy and before she could even get to liddy nina just took off and, and swung on pressure and then it was just like chaos like complete chaos, security running, cast running. Like it was crazy. Like they need to get some type of like structure or control on now that's TV. I promise. Cause sometimes it, it just be so much happening at once. It's really hard to keep up with what's going on. Okay. So security end up, you know, they saying no, no rumbling right now. It's not the time for that. We're trying to get the challenge going. So yeah, uh, we see Deja Rain explaining the challenge and it really looks exactly like the same challenge they was doing on the Zodiac House show. I was like, y'all couldn't think of nothing else. Like, this is like literally the same little setup or whatever. So they have like a little uh, picnic looking seated area. And we see Joyce arguing with Shaba. Baby, how Shaba just be into it with everybody? <laughs> like, Shaba, girl, what, what's tea, sister? How you just into it with the whole cast? But I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I live for Joyce. Joyce be looking T. They could never make me hate you, Joyce. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, sister. They could never. I'm sorry. But, um, of course, Shaba is doing her digs, calling Joyce a man and all that. One thing you cannot say is Joyce is ugly, though. That's one thing. you Because she be looking T. Like, her face card is better than a lot of the people on out of TV. And that's no T, no shade. But let's be for real here. Joyce is fine, baby. Okay. So while Shaba is arguing with Joyce, Billy Barbie, she's still wanting to get a baby. So she ran up, tried to swing on Shaba or whatever. And so I guess security just was tired of trying to trying to stop it. So they was like, okay, he like let them run a fade. So when Shaba was like, come on, she decided to hop and leap and run off the table to try to get to billy i don't know if she thought she was superman or what and she was like leaping i don't know if she bumped money or what happened but money grabbed it by her hair and slung her like i don't get why money did that when we know that billy is she hulk by herself so i don't know why money needed to insert herself in there but okay whatever she said she shouldn't be running or leaping past her okay sister whatever the case may be Billy done slung this girl Shaba all around, dragging her all on the concrete, duking, 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 duking her all upside her head. I'm like, ooh, Shaba. Ooh, Shaba. I'm, and, and like, Billy is too strong. Because they get to the yelling out, all security on Billy. All, it, it took like six of them to hold her. Like, baby, She-Hulk. 
leave the humans alone. Like, on my soul, like, leave the humans alone, G. Like, leave the humans alone, Billy. Stop fighting these human women. You know what you need to do. Go fight some mutants or something. A teenage mutant ninja turtle, if you will. But, girl, leave the, leave the real life humans alone. You too damn strong, sister. Okay? So, as security was on Billy, Nina took the opportunity to run up on pressure. Now, I'm not going to lie. We all know that pressure's reputation is not being the best squabbler. But, she gagged me, y'all. I'm not going to lie. She really gagged me. I did not expect expect her to get the W on Nina because it was a real, it wasn't like a real brutal fade, but Pressure definitely took that W. I was like, okay, Pressure, you know, I've I've said something. You all know Pressure had got mad at me because I said she had lost them phase on South Central Baddies, which she did. This one, she definitely took the W. I was surprised. I'm like, hold on, Pressure, you done took some lessons or something. Girl, what she was, she she been watching MMA or something because, baby, she she had got a little better with the squabbles, okay? So then we see Shaba crying, talking about, it's on camera, I need my leg back. She got me on my leg back, I need my leg back, it's on camera. I mean, I don't think you could get your leg back on, on Big Billy. No shade. No shade, Shaba. I think you should just chunk it up deuces when it comes to getting that leg back. Like, leave Big Debo alone. For real. Like, I don't, it, like, unless you gonna bring, like, a sledgehammer or something with you. I don't know. Like you, you gotta bring like a little Tesla or something with you. I, that's the only way I can see you getting your lick back on Big Debo. You gonna have to have a brick like Craig did uh, in the movie Friday with Debo. You gonna have to have a little brick and boom, knock her out or something. Like, cause I don't, I don't, that little you keep trying to hop on the table. This your second time hopping on the table. That's not working in your favor, sister. That's not working in your favor being a table hopper. Like, cause she caught you mid air. Who like? Mm. Okay, so then pressure was like, "What's up, Liddy?" I was like, "Uh oh, big lady, big lady. If you want this fade, come and get it, big lady, big lady. I don't pressure you. You handle Nina, but I don't. You know what I mean? I ain't, I ain't know. I was kind of scared for him. Like, I don't know if you're gonna be able to handle big lady, big lady. If you want this fade, come and get it. Okay, but honestly, Liddy like put her in a headlock and slammed her." And then start like you know going in on her. I really feel like if she would not have slammed her, pressure would have gave her some go. I'm not saying pressure would have won, but I'm saying I feel like pressure would have been able to give her some more go if she wouldn't have slammed her. But it's like there's no rules in this. But I mean, like Liddy didn't overly whoop her either, though. No shade. Like it's not like Liddy just overly tore her. At least in my opinion, you know, I've seen her do worse to cash. Um. So then they start the challenges. I'm not gonna lie. I, I was. I think I'm too used to watching like real challenge shows, like MTV The Challenge and like Fear Factor and Survivor and stuff like that. I feel like I'm too used to seeing that. So these little silly challenges, like climbing up the trees and all that, and playing tug of war, like it just really doesn't move me. No shade. So I kind of was like. I started fixing me something to eat during that part, okay? So, off camera, Joyce was confronted by Jazz, who was Ivory's sister, and Cologne. And she was contemplating going home. Now, I don't know, I guess apparently Joyce said something about Ivory and Jazz's mama because the mama got on the live and said something about Joyce. I don't. I really don't know. I, like I told you guys, I don't really follow the tea pages and stuff like that. So whatever goes on, like outside of the show, I don't always know. Um, but Joyce was saying, like you know, she don't know if it's worth it. You know, y'all know she got her new nose, and Cologne does not identify as trans. Like Cologne is a strong man. And I know that some people are always like, oh, well, if Joyce was born a man, well, like, baby, there's a difference when you take them hormones, like your muscle mass, your strength, it's not the same. So, no, it's not just like a man versus man. Like, Joyce is a trans woman. Cologne is a man. So, I understood why she was just kind of like, uh, I don't know if I want to do this, you know, is it worth it? Because, I mean, as we now know, we have saw what played out. Her whole nose was like broken or busted or something from what we saw actually happen. But 
she decided to stay. Deja Rain reminded her, like, it's 100K on the line, girl. You know, let's get this money. So there was some other, like, miscellaneous sitting around talking, eating pizza, blah, blah, blah. Nothing really too major, in my opinion. Um, But the episode ends with someone running up on, I believe, it was Jazz running up on Joyce because the person who ran up said, yeah, what's that you were saying about my mama? And then I saw some blonde hair swing in the air and Joyce was the only one with the platinum blonde hair. Um, well, besides Monty, but I didn't see Monty over there. So I'm guessing Jazz ran up on Joyce and maybe that's going to be the start of the altercation that we saw play out where, you know, Joyce had posted the picture on Instagram with the face all busted up or whatever. Um, I don't really know. But next week, we're going to see some more of the little challenges. Like, they're sitting in an ice bucket on one. They're playing tug of war on the other one. Like, I wish that would make some different challenges. Because they do the same challenges on all the shows. So, on Young and Reckless, they did the little tug of war thing, didn't they? And then they did that on uh, Zodiac. It's like, they could come up with some other stuff. Like, the challenges are kind of giving me snooze fest. The show so far is a lot different than what I thought it was going to be. I don't know. I thought it was going to be a little bit more fast-paced and action-packed by what the trailer looked like it's kind of not really giving me my life right now you know honestly truly um but next week we're going to see pressure versus ivory and <sighs> i ain't gonna lie it looked like big ivory was mm, mm, catching her so yeah i'm excited to see that um yeah my recap for this show is pretty short because there's not really much going on yet in my opinion, but you guys were hitting me up on my Instagram, like, why you ain't do Greek life, baby? Because it was boring last week. It was boring. I also did not do Playboys last week, but I already explained to y'all just because I was gone for the whole week. But I am going to recap. Play well, I haven't watched this episode of Playboys yet. We're going to see if it's good. But I plan to recap Playboys tomorrow because I've already filmed like three YouTube videos today, baby. Mama is, mama is tired. And it's only, what time is it? It's only 3 o'clock. I've been up since like 5.30 this morning, so I'm a little tired. If I get the energy, I'm going to go ahead and film Play Playboys tonight, but I don't know. But yes, you guys, thank you guys for watching. You stream the intro song, Lucha V, Guard Your Grill. Run it up. Run them screams up, y'all, okay? And thank you for watching.